Hey, Candace. Hi, Jen. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good to be with you this morning. You as well. What are some changes we can make around the house that will improve the environment? Well, I call it light green, and that just means doing the things that you think personally you can integrate. You know, so if you're like, well, I'm often going to the grocery store and coming home with all these extra bags that I can't use, put those bags in your trunk. Just say, I'm going to do it this Earth Day. I'm going to commit to making some small changes. But you've probably already heard of that, as well as, you know, getting rid of the bottled water, as well as washing your clothes in cold water. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. But this Earth Day, I'm thinking that we need to actually start growing our greens to go green. And do you have any tips for those looking to plant a garden this year? I do. You know, I'm a, um, a recent gardener. I didn't have a green thumb. And a few years ago, I said, well, it would be really fun and convenient to have some herbs for cooking. And so I had some little uh, pots near the windowsill. And all of a sudden, my basil was growing quite nicely. And I'm like, it would be really great to have a caprese salad right now. And so I need a tomato. So then I was like, let's have some tomatoes going in the garden. And so it was like that little, you know, step-by-step -step approach. Um, a lot of people get overwhelmed thinking like I don't know anything about gardening, um, overwhelmed, um, and this is where uh, Garden Kit comes in nicely. This, this kit from Dole.com was just created and I wish it was around when I was learning because everything is self-contained. It's everything that you need to get going in your garden right down to these cool little um, dirt packs and you add water, fluffs up, put the seeds in, and then you can transfer this right into your garden. I'm not sure if you can see. This dirt is super rich and yum. And, um, and now all of a sudden, I've got 12 different varieties of vegetables growing in my garden, and I started it as seed, which is kind of like the gardener's you know, bragging rights. Like, that started from seed. You didn't go off and buy those little expensive, already started um, vegetables. How awesome. Yeah. And how can eating less meat improve the environment and our health? So eating meat is one of those things that takes a big toll on the environment, and here's why. Meat is a very resource-intensive thing to make. For example, about 12 pounds of grain goes into one pound of beef, and over 1,000 gallons of water will be used in creating just one pound of beef. So you see, it's just better when you can use that grain directly and put it right onto your table. Plus, it's going to be amazing for your health to do this. And I'm sure you know, you know this, having blogged about health quite a bit. It is going to help you reduce your chance of diabetes, your, your chance of cancer, and of course, obesity. I mean, what a great thing. Plus, eating vegetarian, it's usually lighter on the pocketbook. Do you have any suggestions on starting a compost pile? <laughs> I do. It's called cheating. Go ahead and get one of those self-contained, easy composters at any like home improvement store. Sometimes at gardening centers they'll have them. And usually they're plastic and they have a little lid. They have this little thing that you can even spin the composter with. And so as opposed to having to go out and build something and not exactly know what you're doing, this makes it easy peasy. And then a few months later, especially if you're in warmer climates, you're going to have this rich, rich soil all of a sudden be what used to be your dinner scraps and your lawn clippings come to life as the best thing that you could use in your garden. So it's a nice virtuous circle. Start growing your own vegetables, food waste, compost, back into the garden. And now on to fashion. What's the secret to hosting a great swap party? <laughs> the secret to hosting a great swap party is Number one, wine. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is making sure that people understand that bring something that you know is of great quality and you know that someone else could enjoy. And so if everybody brings that, like, say, blazer that's still intact and fashionable, but it's maybe just not their style, or jeans that maybe don't fit, or the shoes that maybe kind of tweak the foot in a certain way and you're ready to move on. So you bring all this stuff, and it's amazing that, of course, as they say, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, one woman's shoe is a great find for someone else, you know? And so um, it's fun. And you need to just say, everybody bring your own stuff and get ready to have a good time. And what can viewers do to get their kids involved and excited about Earth Day? For this Earth Day, I'm telling kids, get your hands dirty. Actually, put your hands in the earth for Earth Day. You know, grow your own greens, 
to go green. And Candace, that's one of those tips where you see the light bulb go on in the kid's head when they're like, oh my gosh, the earth is allowing me to put a seed in the ground and nature, how cool is that, is turning it into something that all of a sudden, you know, is on the dinner table. And that's when they are like, okay, I'm now a champion for the earth. I'm gonna just, you know, take it to the next level and the next level and their little creative brain just goes crazy. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to get going uh, gardening this Earth Day, you can go to Dole.com and you can get this gardening kit for only $19.95, which is an amazing deal. I know when I first started out gardening, I came back from the gardening store going, oh, this is actually more like an expensive hobby. But here you have 12 different vegetables that you can plant. And the peat pot, um, the, uh, the instructions, even the little sticks right here that are gonna say, this is what's growing here. Um, and this is where I'd go also for more information about how important it is to grow your own food for really good health and just that good connection to the earth. Well, thank you, Jen. Where can viewers go for more information on you? Just jenbolden.com. Thank you so much. Have a great Earth Day. Yeah, you too, Candace. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.